Hey guys, do I look like I could be a mistress? Just kidding. Nikki Novak here for Young Hollywood on the set of Mistresses on ABC. Come on inside. We're going to talk to the star, Jess McCallan, and she's going to give us a scintillating set tour. I'm here with Jess McCallan. Great to see you. Hi, good to see you. I love your hair. You do? I love your hair. <laughs> well, that's because this is, this is very rare to go on a set visit and have Jess's people work on my hair. They have a lovely crew here. Are, aren't they the best? I'm gonna introduce yes. you to all of them. They are the best, best people ever. Yeah, you're gonna show us around. Yeah. And I'm gonna try to get hints for season two because <laughs> I'm now addicted to the show and I've been trying to like find out little things. Look who's here, it's Brett Tucker. Brett Tucker. In, now where are we? In the we, flesh, where, where are, are we? We're, I don't recognize the this. surfboards. This, is, I mean, this is my temporary residence, so I'm just kind of having a little visit here. Uh, yeah. This this pad is very manly. There's some manly, manly things that people look yeah. It doesn't look like the typical manly no, place, it's though. It's very cozy. It's smelling, it's, there's notice. a must. Yeah. <laughs> there is. Yeah. I thought that was me. Yeah. You guys really have to get a shot of his calendar. Um, jury duty. Jury duty, big party night with the boys, and then one, he's doing the gym butt cheeks. Yeah. <laughs> Times two, two. Two reps. We can say that you're into party planning yep. this season, which yep. is so, so perfect for you. Started a business. Isn't yeah. that great? Isn't yeah. it so much better than real estate? In real life, what would you be the best at? Therapist. Mm. Oh. Private investigator. <laughs> okay. Boutique owner. Chef. Real estate agent or party planner? You know, it's funny, I wanted to be a therapist. Did you really? Yeah, when I was in school, and I just loved it. I love it. I still, I try not to read too, too many psychology books because I start to get in my head and overanalyze everything, but I just love the, 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 the you know, therapy. <laughs> and I probably need a lot of it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Were you originally supposed to play it uh, with an American I accent? Was, yeah, and I was, then... I was, the character was American, I was, I was cast American. Yeah. And then it was the, the first day of shooting on the pilot when I was there just getting a wardrobe and, here stuff and shooting the next day and it was you and Jin. Do you know this story? And I was in the makeup yeah. bus and just started chatting away and you and Jin said you should keep your accent. She said I love your accent, you should just yeah. keep it. Yeah, we all did. Yeah. But is it sort of a relief when you get to not even have to worry about the accent? You can just sort of... Yeah, it, it is a little bit. It was a double-edged sword. I like playing American characters in America, you know, I enjoy it and so I was prepared for that. So at that moment I was like, no, 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 no. Let's right, I've worked room. on it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I've done yeah. all the dialogue. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah. But then once we got into it, I think it was the, it was definitely the right yeah. choice. There's other nuances and colors you can bring to it that come out with your own accent, yeah. and it also just adds another flavor to the show. I think. Speaking is, of flavor, would you make a good chef in real life or no? Um, certainly not as good as Harry. He's a really good chopper. He's become really good at yeah. chopping. Still got my fingers. You must be the life of the party. What I got. I love me some karaoke. <laughs> Do you? I'm horrible at it. Really? And I love it. Yeah, I love it. I Is there a place you go to in LA? Like cuz there's uh, those karaoke places that you can go to or you can just sort of LA's hard. People are good at it here. Yeah. You're supposed to be bad. You're supposed in to suck. You're, You're supposed, supposed to be horrible. It's no fun when the person's too good. Yeah. So I suck. <laughs> so anything else you can show us in the house before we depart? Dining room that we always sit at. Go that way. Oh, we should show the CD. Oh, where is it? CD. Oh, wait. It's really important. When I'm at home, I listen to it for lovers and I don't even know how much this bad boy would be worth. Should we steal it? Oh, this is just my stills. Should we steal it? Do you carry this yeah, around yeah, with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just where's the case? I can't find the case. It's a case. As far as sets and houses go, it's probably not the most impressive thing you've ever seen. No, we should go to Sammy's. Well, Let's do it. When we're acting in it, it's unbelievable. Yeah, it really it, it like you light it up. It's yeah, no. phenomenal. No. no, we're pretty amazing. There's so many fabulous me love scenes on the mm. show. Have you had any moments that stood out? This one guy who, oh, bless his heart, he was super young and super adorable. I say again, people at home are gonna be like, and what's wrong with that? That yeah. sounds fantastic. No, but he was so nervous and then we said cut and then we did a couple takes and, and he stopped and he looked at me and he goes, I was like, are you okay? And he's like, yeah, I'm fine. I just, I'm really worried about what my mom is gonna say about this scene. <laughs> I don't want her to see it. I used to drive to work in the first season in a towel and was ready to go. Oh, God, this, he was, he did. He really? walked season, everywhere yeah, in so I've got one coming up, so I just stopped eating immediately and I'm working on the butt cheeks. Okay. So we're in Savvy's kitchen. This is an impressive kitchen. Bum, bum, bum. Is this a great kitchen? Yes. Um, 
You know, I, I want to steal this oven, but I don't think I can get it out the door. <laughs> without anybody noticing. Without anybody noticing. But yeah, this is this is where the magic happens. We have a lot of heart-to-hearts, the four of us, yes. around the table. You know, girlfriends come here for bagels in the morning and gossip at night. Yes. And wine, wine, wine. The bungalow that we were just at by Harry's, um, you know, that's actually the external there is supposed to be the external here. So it's all kind okay. of it's all kind of swapped. And so okay. this is just kind of a fake out. Right now we're not we're not shooting anything, so it's not really like dressed, if you will. Right. And look, um, when you then, look right up, we're not in a house. Yeah. We're in a studio. Well, that's the, the, the elephant door that I was telling you about. That's just genius. I feel like you could fit the oven out that door. So you're saying that Joss is growing up a little bit a little this bit. season? A little bit. A little bit. How, how so. much is a little bit? I think that last season, I think that there was a massive arc for her. Yeah. Something that I really kind of enjoyed going through. There's a different sort of outlook on life. You know, she's, she's sort of got her feet a little firmer onto the ground and she's kind of felt that love and and she's up for changing her life the way she wants it to be. You, you four women, you core women are, are such good friends. You sort of tell each other everything mm -hmm. and there are no secrets. I'm gonna throw out a scenario. Let's say a friend gets a bad haircut. Do you tell her? Okay. <laughs> I can't believe you just asked me that. Um, usually with my friend, because my friend just went, we just went through this. And I was like, <gasps> You hate it. And I was like, no, I just, I'm in life like the worst actress ever. Thank you guys for coming. Thanks for the tour. We loved, loved, loved being here. Yay! This is incredible. I'm so excited in season two and, you know, watch it. It's watch it. highly, 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 highly addictive.